uh, we got this uh, uh, beef gyudon going, which is a great dish for lockdown because you can store lots of this uh, beef ribeye in your freezer, and then you take it out, you defrost it, and then you just cut it up into strips. And the beauty of it is this whole thing only has like, you know, you only need two solid ingredients and then the ginger is even optional. Uh, but then we are going to put together a little sauce and throw this in. You just need one pot, 15 minutes, you're done. Okay? The next step, next step in this is really the ingredients that are going to go into the sauce. So it's really only, it looks like a lot, but it's not a lot. You got rice cooking wine or sake, whatever you want. Uh, mirin. You you don't even have to put this in here, but this is just sugar to add the sweetness to it. Uh, dark soy sauce for color, and then regular soy sauce. You just add two, two, uh, two, and then this is optional. The dark one is just for color. And you gotta throw in some sugar. Now the secret to pulling all this together is this guy right here. This is uh, Han Dashi. This is a fish-based, bonito fish-based soup stock, which really pulls the whole thing together. So we're gonna take a look at how all this comes together. Um, in a little bit. We mix the sauce, just two, two, two tablespoons of everything. Uh, now we got this, now we're at the teaspoon, we got a teaspoon here of this dashi. So for this volume of, you know, one white onion, a little bit of ginger, almost a pound of beef, you're gonna do about two tablespoons, two teaspoons of uh, this uh, stock uh, mix. You just put it in there, which what's great about it is, you just keep that around in powder form. All right, come with me here, we put some hot water. Uh, and that just really dissolves it and, you know, speeds up the cooking process as opposed to using cold water. So we got two cups of water in here. This is going to be the main, uh, stock for the beef. Now, this is the beautiful part, is now when we come to cook this beef, we mix this off here. Alright, we're going to come start cooking. We put all our ingredients over here. We preheat our pan. We preheat our pan over here. And then you know all we gotta do is throw the throw the beef in there. You don't even have to brown it that much. And then throw all our sauces in there. Then you throw the onion in there. You don't even have to brown the onion. Uh, but I am gonna try browning the ginger a little bit. Um, usually I just throw in the ginger at the end. I guess we'll try this avocado oil, why not? Um, yeah, here we go. I've got oil. Why don't you use the rice oil? Alright, perfect. And we're gonna just toss this, uh, toss this ginger in here to, uh, kind of brown it a little bit. Smells delicious. And I just take a little bit of the edge off of the ginger. Then we throw in all of our beef. And you don't you don't even have to brown it. So it depends on the recipe you want to you want to follow. Um, I've I've cooked it with browning. I've cooked it without browning. It comes out about the same. What you don't want to do though is you don't want to overcook it at this stage because you're using a really thin beef. So if you if you brown it too much, you know it's gonna. Uh, be a little tough at the end because it's, you know, if you're using, <clears throat> this is ribeye, but if you're using like uh, cheesesteak, meat, or whatever you're, you have on hand in your supermarket, um, it's, you know, may or may not work out well if you brown it too much. Okay, what you really want to do though, is you want to kind of separate the beef a little bit here. Alright, so that looks about good. You don't need to brown this any more than that because you're going to be boiling it in this stock for about 15 minutes. So now we come in with the stock. Get all that in there. We come in with the sauce. Get all that in there. What we gotta do is we gotta come in with the sugar. So we hit it with the sugar. You know, you just sugar it to, to taste. And this is a teaspoon, so I'm gonna put two teaspoons of sugar. And then, uh, you know, about a teaspoon of salt. So you can just depend on how salty you want it to be. Um, and then, check it out. You drop the onions in there, and that's it. Bam. Now we cover, and 15 minutes later we come back uh, and see how it looks. Alright, so we got our 
uh, gyudon going here. And you can see it's just uh, beef and onions and this broth and uh, that's it. You didn't, you, you, once it starts getting glassy, like this is about done, it's about 10 minutes to 15 minutes, you're done. So you can see it's one pot, you just throw all the ingredients in, you don't have to watch it or stir it. Uh, and once the onion is clear, you're done and you're ready to serve it over rice. So this is uh, one of my favorite dishes because you can prepare it really quickly. You don't need that many ingredients um, and it's extra tasty.